Hi ho! Take a good look at this. You see this image? See it? See it, right? You can see it? Look at it. There he is, Mr. Hanky, the Christmas Pooh from South Park. Okay, this is a very important image associated with the video I'm about to do. Okay, got it? Hi ho! Okay, so that image is, of course, Mr. Hanky, the Christmas Pooh from South Park. Uh, and hi, I'm Nick DeGilio. Thank you for checking out my YouTube channel, particularly this video. Uh, and if you would like to help out to keep the videos coming, I got a couple of podcasts I'm doing. Uh, these are all free. These are all do DIY projects. You can help me out. Patreon.com slash Nick D Show. Pick a tier from 3 bucks to 25 bucks. You get bonus uh, videos and some other stuff too. So please donate if you can. It's the holiday season. You're feeling generous? Help me out. Patreon.com slash Nick D Show. Uh, anyway, uh, you can check out my podcast, the Nick D Podcast, every Tuesday and Friday. New episodes everywhere where you get your podcast, Radio Misfits Podcast uh, Network, radiomisfits.com. Got a new podcast that will be dropping on uh, January 11th, and it's called That Show Hasn't Been Funny in Years, an SNL podcast. Uh, and it's all about uh, Saturday Night Live. It'll be once a week. Every Wednesday it will drop, and it's all about SNL, my love of SNL, my knowledge of the history of SNL. And every episode will be different. We'll have guests, sometimes we do, sometimes we won't, but every episode will be about Saturday Night Live and its 48 years of existence. And there's a lot there, and it's going to be great. So check us all out at RadioMisfits.com. But anyway, the reason why I had that little image there of Mr. Hanky, uh, the Christmas Pooh from South Park, is because that's the latest way that I've gotten fucking thrown in Facebook jail. Yes, Mark Zuckerberg and his hoodies can kiss my ass. He's a fucking moron, and his little meta, and all that stuff. The reasons for getting thrown in Facebook jail, or having your account restricted, or being booted, or, you know, whatever, or having any kind of, like, punishment dealt to you by Mark Zuckerberg and his fucking morons at meta slash Facebook, is increasingly confusing, increasingly idiotic, and increase increasingly stupid as to why you get booted off of Facebook or put in Facebook jail or your account is restricted for a day or two days or two weeks or two months. Whatever these morons deem the necessary punishment for something that you have posted on Facebook, it continues to boggle my fucking mind how one gets thrown in Facebook jail. Well, this is my fourth time in Facebook jail. Um, and this is the this is the one that I am completely, utterly baffled by, and the reasons behind. And again, it's getting to the point now where you could actually go, "Hey, I would like to argue this." You know, uh, uh, why am I being thrown in Facebook jail? I guess there was a way where you could actually state and make a case because I've got I've had my my uh, my sentences overthrown a couple of times where I've actually went in and said, "Hey, this is a really stupid reason and here are the reasons why I should not be in Facebook jail and here are the reasons why Mark Zuckerberg and his cronies at fucking uh, Meta are morons." And I've gotten some of these judgments reversed and, you know, been granted the incredible uh uh, you know, the, the incredible gift of being back on Facebook. Uh, well, right now, currently, I am off of Facebook. I have another 44 hours of Facebook jail that I have to live in. So you're looking at this on YouTube and probably on Patreon, but I can't post it on Facebook for another 44 hours because of the horrible crime I committed to be thrown in Facebook jail. So, first of all, Mark Zuckerberg can kiss my ass. Uh, and uh, and, and whatever, whoever is in charge of deciding what is unacceptable to put on Facebook is drunk or stupid or just doesn't give a fuck and randomly says, I don't like that, I don't like this, I don't like that, so you're in jail. So the picture that I showed you from the, from, from the computer image that I showed you, that is the image that got me kicked off of Facebook. That image at the top of this video, the very first picture that you saw on that computer screen at the beginning of this video of Mr. Hanky, the Christmas poo, sitting on a chair in front of the fireplace with the Christmas tree behind them, behind him, got me banned from Facebook for two days. On Christmas morning. On Christmas morning. Merry Christmas from Mark Zuckerberg and all the fucking morons at Meta and Facebook. You're banned from Facebook for 48 hours because you posted a picture of Mr. Hanky. Now, I don't know if anybody else out there has posted a picture of Mr. Hanky from South Park and been banned from Facebook. Okay, I guess. 
And the reason that I got banned from Facebook, this is the reason why I've been banned. I've got 44 more hours left on my, on, on my sentence. And then I'm free to get back on Facebook. Um, but I just, I wanted to discuss the times I've been banned from Facebook. And if you've been thrown in Facebook jail, and I know you have, everybody has, tell me why. Tell me why. And if you argued it, did you get it returned? But the, the, the idea of being thrown in Facebook jail, one, is fucking ridiculous. Two, whoever decides what is, you know, uh, offensive uh, and, and doesn't, you know, abide by the standards of Facebook, whoever is that, uh, whoever does that makes no fucking sense. And three, I want to hear what got you banned from Facebook. So if you've been in Facebook jail before, like I am right now, I am currently in Facebook jail, you know, taking my tin can and clanging it, clanging it on the bars in order to get some, you know, some slop for dinner before I get electrocuted. Uh, but this is the reason why that picture of Mr. Hankey, and that picture of Mr. Hankey, I tried to post as my Facebook picture, my avatar, or whatever, the Facebook image. You know, I change my Facebook image every day, the picture, on my Facebook page. I usually, very rarely do I put my ugly-ass face on it. I usually put something weird or stupid or funny. So I thought on Christmas Day, and this was Christmas morning, like early morning, 3 o'clock in the morning on Christmas morning, and I to change my Facebook uh, picture, uh, my image, uh, I, I clicked over to Mr. Hankey, that picture, because I thought it would be funny. Hey, it's Christmas Day. What's a funny Christmas picture? Mr. Hankey sitting in front of the Christmas tree. He's the Christmas poo. Nick DiGilio's Facebook page. Oh, look, his picture is Mr. Hankey. Merry Christmas. That's funny, or at least that's what I thought. Boom, I try to, poke, I try to, po to post it. I'm immediately cut off. You know, I, get, I had to change my password to get, I get kicked out of Facebook, okay? Uh, the, 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 you know, your session has ended. And then I tried to log back in. They wouldn't log me back in. They had to send me a code. The code didn't come. I had to change my password to get back into Facebook. So all this other bullshit, just to log back in to find out that I'm in Facebook jail. And I'm like, why am I restricted? Why am I? Then it was two days. And then I looked it up. And I found out that something I posted was, quote, your post didn't follow our community standards on nudity or sexual activity. That was the reason why I've been thrown in Facebook jail. Because my post, quote, didn't follow our community standards on nudity or sexual activity. Now, you saw the picture of what I posted on Facebook for me to get thrown in Facebook jail. And it's Mr. Hanky the Christmas Pooh sitting on a chair in front of a Christmas tree, the dude from South Park. That got me banned from Facebook and thrown in Facebook jail for two days because, quote, your post didn't follow our community standards on nudity or sexual activity. Now, my question is, who, whoever made this decision has a pretty fucked up idea of what nudity or sexual activity is. I'm very concerned with the person who was hired for community standards on Facebook for that person who thinks that that picture somehow involves nudity or sexual activity. Because if that person thinks that the picture of Mr. Hankey, an animated character from South Park, represents nudity or sexual activity, uh, someone needs to see Freud right the fuck now and stop uh, uh, judging people on what they can and cannot post. Because this person has no idea what probably has never had sex with anyone, maybe has never seen anyone nude, clearly has no idea what sexual activity and nudity are. Because if you think a picture of an animated character, an animated piece of poo from a TV series represents nudity and sexual activity, you got some serious fucking issues. Some serious issues. You've never been laid, you've never seen anybody naked, and you think that an animated piece of poo is somehow offensive in the nudity and sexual activity category? You're a fucking lunatic! And you are the one who is judging whether people can post things on Facebook based upon your warped, Freudian, weird, fucked up, inaccurate ideas of what you think nudity and sexual activity are? Seriously? Mr. Hankey? A picture of Mr. Hankey, the picture that you saw at the top of this video, quote, doesn't follow our community standards on nudity or sexual activity. Can you explain that? So I tried to find the link to go and to argue my case and say, uh, well, I don't know what the fuck world you're living in where having sex or being naked involves an animated piece of shit, 
But I don't, hey, good for you if that's your goddamn thing. Hey, I'm not a, you know, I don't judge people's kinks. That's cool. But in my world, a piece of animated shit has nothing to do with nudity and sexual activity. Unless I'm fucking someone while South Park is on. That's the only thing. So this is not the first time that I've been banished from Facebook and thrown into Facebook jail. And I want to hear your Facebook jail stories. Leave them here or on my Patreon page after you donate at patreon.com slash Show. Donate now. Um, but here's, here's another couple of reasons why I've been banned. Um, uh, okay. And they're, and they're all ridiculous. Now, I was, the last time that I was, the last time that I was banned from Facebook and thrown in Facebook jail for two weeks was when I posted the final shot of They Live on my Facebook page. And that's the scene where the, the, the alien, well, everybody's an alien and they live. You put, you put the glasses on, you can see that. But the final image in They Live is a guy having sex with a woman. Um, and, uh, and she looks down and she sees that the guy she's having sex with has that alien they live face. And he looks up at her while she's on top of him, banging him. And he says, uh, what's the matter, baby? And then that's the end of the movie. So I posted from his point of view where he's laying on his back, the image, and it said, what's the matter, baby? And I posted that on my Facebook page with a comment about, you know, they live. And immediately I got banned for the same reason. Now, okay, although there are tits in that scene... There were no bare tits in the picture that I posted. I posted it from the point of view of the alien laying on his back. He's shirtless, but it's a man. He's shirtless, but it's a man. And he's an alien. I don't, I don't know. And it's like an alien chest. So somehow that might be too sexy for Facebook. An alien they live chest might be too sexual for Facebook. I don't know. Again, because Facebook is filled with fucking idiots led by a jagoff in one of these with a zillion dollars and calling his little company Meta. So anyway... So that's why I got now, and that you know, and the reason was it didn't follow our sexual, uh, our community standards on nudity or sexual activity. It was the same reason. And then I went, okay, all right, cool. Maybe it was a little too sexual. Hey, what's a matter, baby? Clearly, this is an alien who, I guess, just by the picture, you can tell he's being fucked by a woman on when she's on top. Okay, I, that's stretching it a little bit. And I was off for two weeks. They banned me for two weeks. I was in Facebook jail for two weeks for posting the final scene frame of They Live on my Facebook page. And then I even, I mean, even even that, I tried to, like, you know, argue my case and I couldn't find the link or whatever the fuck it was. And again, I had to get kicked off and get back on, change my password, all that shit. Pain in the ass, especially since I do a ton of advertising and publicity for my events, for my podcast on Facebook uh, and on social media in general, but I use Facebook a lot. Uh, and, and I've got a live event coming up January 17th at Zany's in Rosemont the live version of the Nick D podcast with great comedian, Emmy winner, Dwayne Kennedy as our special guest. Get your tickets now. Rosemont.zanies.com. Get your tickets now. Tuesday, January 17th. Be there. Let's pack the place. Giveaways, prizes, all kinds of cool stuff. Anyway, so I promote that on Facebook and I can't promote. And I had an event coming up when I got kicked off. So that was two weeks of promotion for my podcast and for my other events and other things that I use social media for. So I tried to argue and say, hey, why can't I get back? I couldn't get in. I couldn't argue, blah, blah, blah. So I waited out the two weeks, you know, that I was in Facebook jail, grew a beard, had some, you know, had some fun with other inmates. We played a lot of volleyball. And then I got out of Facebook jail and abided by the rules until Christmas morning when I posted a picture of Mr. Hankey that I guess is nudity and sex. So that would, so the they live thing, I guess I can understand, even though it doesn't make any sense and it's a shirtless alien is ultimately the picture. And in the meta Mark Zuckerberg universe, that's sexual and nudity. Okay. So then I got booted for that. And uh, all right. And that was the last time I was booted. I was booted uh, a, a, a different time. And I talked about this one before. The last time I was in Facebook jail for, I can't remember how long it was. But I, but the thing is, I posted something. It was it, I reposted something. And I've, I've talked about this in another video. It's called I'm in Facebook jail. You can look it up. It's a bunch of months ago. But anyway, the reason why I was put in Facebook jail was because Facebook sent me something that they encouraged me to repost. They sent it to me. You know how when you go every morning, uh, they have Facebook memories and they give you a whole bunch of memories from years past that go all the way back like 10, 12, 13, 14 years. And it's like stuff you posted last year on this date or two years ago on this date, going all the way back to 13-year-olds. On this date, here's what you posted. Here's an image you posted. Here's a message you posted. Here's a link that you posted. Here are things that you've shared in the past on this day on Facebook. And one of those 
and, and they encourage you. They're like, hey, look at this. Isn't this fun? Remember when you posted this? You should repost it today and share it with everyone remembering all this cool stuff that you've posted on Facebook. So they sent me a thing that I posted about watching the Point Break, re, uh, re, uh, the Point Break remake. And this was back in 2016. I posted, and I'm uh, paraphrasing, but I posted something like, uh, that morning while I was watching the Point Break remake, which I had put off for a very long time because, first of all, the Point Break remake should not be, it should not exist because Point Break's a fucking masterpiece and whoever remade it uh, can kiss my ass. Uh, but the Point Break remake, uh, I posted while I was watching it, uh, something like, I am about 50 minutes into the Point Break remake and I want to kill everyone. And I posted that. And, um, and it got posted. There was no problem. This was back in 2016. So I posted, and I thought it was kind of funny. I hated the movie so much that in, in a warped world, I would go out and kill everyone because the Point Break remake is so bad. And people who know me and know my sense of humor think that's funny. It's like, oh, God, Nick really loves Point Break. Of course, in his mind, he would kill everybody because there's a Point Break remake. So I posted it. And in 2016, no problem. I posted it. People looked at it, and they put the little face on the laughing face. Hey, that's funny. I hated it, too. Hey, Nick, you're crazy. Wow, wow, I knew you'd hate it. Blah, blah, blah. And it was a fun post, and I put it up. And then Facebook, years later, six years later, says, hey, here's your this thing that you posted about Point Break. Why don't you repost it? It was funny. You posted, oh, I'm watching the Point Break remake, and I want to kill everybody. Remember when you posted that? Here's another fuzzy memory from Facebook. Repost it. Hey, go ahead and repost it, and it'll be funny. And so I did. I said, oh, yeah, I remember that. I hit repost. Boom, you're in jail. Immediately, I get a notice from Facebook saying that it's violent, it's this, it's that, blah, blah, blah. And I was put in Facebook jail for like two weeks. And, and this was because they fucking sent the post to me. They sent it to me, encouraging me to repost my memories. Hey, here are your memories. Repost them. They'll be fun. So Facebook sent me a post that I posted in 2016 with no repercussions. Like, I posted that very same thing. I'm watching the Point Break remake. And 50 minutes in, I want to kill everybody. And it was totally fine in 2016. Six years later, they send me the memory basically saying, hey, repost it. It'll be fun. We're Facebook. We'd like you to share your old memories. Wasn't it funny when you said that about Point Break, the remake? That's funny. Why don't you repost it? And I went, oh, yeah, hey, I you said this when I watched Point Break. Repost, boom, you're in jail. Not my fucking fault. You're the jagoffs who sent it to me. Your meta Facebook jagoff who fucking sent it to me and said, why don't you repost this? It's funny. Share your memories with everyone. Well, I did, and you fucking threw me in jail. So, the, so it's just so weird and random why you get thrown in Facebook jail. It's so weird and random who the faceless morons are who judge your content and deem what is okay and what isn't okay to post on Facebook. So I get thrown off of Facebook jail, which I'm in right now, another 48, 44 hours on my, on my sentence. I'm in right now because I posted a picture of Mr. Hanky. You saw the picture at the top of this video. That is the exact picture that I posted on Facebook to be my image on my page. And I got thrown in Facebook jail because it was sexual, because it was nudity. Meanwhile, I look at the shit that's posted on my feed. There is particularly, there's a woman on my Facebook feed who posts shit about blowing people, about blowing guys, um, and posts images of, like, uh, uh, really questionable images of, like, women with stuff jammed down their throat. Uh, I've seen uh, other women post pictures of them, like, half naked, you know, and, and like, words, words that used to describe, like, uh, like this, there, there, there's one woman in general uh, uh, who posts a lot of stuff that shows up on my feed. Uh, and it's not a fake. This is a real woman, by the way. This is a real woman. This is a person who actually exists. So it's not like, a, you know, like a fake, uh, 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 you know, identity. This is not like some, some computer or some Russian hack who is like posting sexy. Let's put some sexy stuff on the Internet. That's not what it is. This is like a real person. You know, and she posts like, you know, really weird and and often very, very explicitly sexual stuff. And there were pictures I, that I was looking at on my feed after I got thrown in jail for the Mr. Hanky thing. I was looking at pictures from other people on my feed, half naked women, women being t one woman in bond into bondage, all tied up, hands behind her back. Another guy walking around with his dong hanging out. There's all these. So all of these men and women who are posting these overtly sexual things that are all over my feed. 
all the time. Particularly, like, it's, I'm, I'm telling you, this one woman is all about, like, jamming stuff down her throat and doing all kinds of shit. And, like, all day posts this kind of shit that pops up on my feed. I post a picture of Mr. Hanky, and I get thrown in Facebook jail for 48 hours because it does not follow our community standards for nudity or sexual activity. Meanwhile, Deep Throat Woman is posting all kinds of crazy shit on Facebook, and there are pictures of half-naked men and half-naked women and people in bondage and people with their necks and all that kind of... It's on my Facebook feed all the fucking time. I post a picture of Mr. Hanky, I get thrown in Facebook jail. I post something that they encourage me to post, to repost, I get thrown in jail. So whoever is in charge at Meta of throwing people in Facebook jail, you might want to have a meeting and get your fucking, you know, get, get, get things lined up. Get all your, you know, your ducks in a row here. And figure out exactly what the community standards are for violence or nudity or sexuality. Especially that. Because if you think, if someone out there thinks that a picture of, of, of animated poo is somehow nudity or sexual related, uh, then you need some, some serious treatment. So anyway, I'm in Facebook jail. Uh, and you're watching me on YouTube, so if you want to post something on my Facebook page, go ahead and see if it gets you kicked off of Facebook. Meanwhile, there's, you know, all kinds of people running around posting people who are naked. I've seen tits on Facebook. I've seen people getting punched in the face, blood shooting out of the side of their mouths. Deep Throat Woman continues to fucking fill the Facebook page uh, and feeds with all kinds of unbelievable stuff about sadomasochism and getting beaten and deep throating and all that stuff is fine. It pops up on the feed fine. No issues. I put up a picture of Mr. Hanky. I'm thrown in Facebook jail. All I'm asking for is a little consistency and, uh, and, uh, and, and I don't know, and maybe a lot less idiocy from Facebook. So anyway, that picture that you saw at the beginning of this video of Mr. Hanky on Christmas Day, I posted that on Christmas morning thinking it would be funny, and now I'm in Facebook jail. So fuck Mark Zuckerberg, fuck Facebook jail, get your fucking brains straight, whoever is judging everybody on whatever community standards you have, get them a little bit more consistent, and then maybe, maybe people won't think Meta and Facebook and Elon Musk and Twitter and all of you motherfucking rich jagoffs who are off in your own world, who are running all of these social media companies, maybe people will go, oh, you're not all psycho assholes, but until then, you are, and fuck you. Oh, my God.